The events inside a Soviet accelerator in 1978 provided rare insight into the effects of ultra-high energy particle beams on human tissue. In 1978, inside a heavily guarded Soviet laboratory, physicist Anatoly Bugorsky looked into a malfunctioning particle accelerator and a proton beam traveling at nearly the speed of light shot straight through his head. He saw a flash, brighter than a thousand suns, yet felt no pain. By every known law of radiation biology, he should have died within hours, if not instantly. The accident occurred on July 13, 1978, at the U-70 synchrotron in Protvino, then the most powerful particle accelerator in the Soviet Union, operating at 76 giga electron volts. While troubleshooting a faulty piece of equipment, Bogorsky leaned into the beam line because a safety interlock had failed. A narrow, incredibly intense proton beam, roughly 10 to the power of 13 protons in a single pulse, struck the back of his skull and exited through the left side of his nose, carving a perfectly straight tunnel of destruction through his brain. Along that millimeter-wide path, he absorbed an estimated 200,000 to 300,000 rad, hundreds of thousands of times the lethal whole-body dose and the highest focal radiation dose ever survived by a human being. The beam was so energetic and focused that it acted almost like a knife. It cauterized blood vessels as it passed, deposited most of its deadly energy at the Bragg Peak near the exit point, and destroyed everything in its direct line while leaving surrounding tissue relatively intact. He walked away from the accelerator under his own power and even finished his shift paperwork. Hours later, his head began to swell grotesquely. Doctors gave him days, at most weeks, to live. The left half of his face became permanently paralyzed and stopped aging, remaining smooth and youthful-looking decades later while the right side wrinkled normally. He lost hearing in his left ear and developed constant tinnitus. Vision in his left eye was severely damaged, and he suffered occasional seizures. The skin and tissue along the entry wound, back of the head, and exit wound, left mid-face nose, peeled away in the following weeks exposing bone in places. Yet the beam had miraculously missed the brainstem and most critical regulatory centers. Aggressive medical intervention prevented fatal brain swelling and infection. The Soviet government classified the incident. Bogorsky was forbidden to speak of it for over a decade and was quietly monitored. He completed his PhD in physics and continued working at the same institute for many years. Anatoly Bogorsky outlived every medical prediction, dying in April 2024 at the age of 81 from causes unrelated to the accident.